Hi folks, welcome to Blue and Gold Talk, the video on the channel. I just throw a random talk out there. I'm going to do another one tonight, guys. I do want to do another one. I want to talk about a few things here. You know, I've been thinking about the team today, going about the day, and um, trying to figure out what's going on really. You know, like wh what, what can set this team off? We seen, we, what we seen last year was real. Okay, it wasn't like a fluke thing or anything. It was real. We seen a dynamic team that could r go with the puck. Go, go, go with the puck. And uh, we kind of seen that in New York, you know, to a, a, to a degree. We did. We did see that. And I think um, as we approach the rest of the season, we've got to be realistic and look at our needs. And guys, I've been saying it, and I'm going to continue saying it, lack of physical play will end this team. It will end this season. I don't care how good we are. I probably said this a million times last year. It will end us again. And it worries me that I think Granado and, and Adams maybe have bought into the Gary Bettman scheme of things of making a soft NHL and following suit, which I don't buy into. I, know, I think you need to play rough and tough in the season, not just in the playoffs, in the season, to be a serious franchise you know so I've got a trade idea I want to talk about we'll talk about this and I'll close it up with a few thoughts uh, that's why I wanted to do the visuals here guys now I'll put below what the what will trade okay here's below Bryson 50% retained and a third round pick which is kind of a high pick and this is my idea. Here we go. Yeah, Patrick Maroon, folks, I think would be exactly what this team could use in that bottom six. I would love to get this guy. He's 35, as you see. He'll be turning 36 at the end of the year. He still got gas in the engine. He does. You know, last year he had 172 hits, second in the league with 12 fights. And we all know he's very responsible defensively, of course. Average ice time last year, I'm looking at it here, he had 10.21 seconds per game, 10 minutes, 21 seconds a game. Now, the numbers say 51.33 of Corsi share and 50.63 of expected goal share, Corsi goal share, that is, uh, with Maroon was uh, when he was on the ice for the Lightning, according to Natural Stat Tricks. Stat Tricks, sorry guys, I'm sick. Not feeling well tonight. And you've seen in those visuals, I mean, that's what we need. Not just the leadership, guys. We need the intimidation factor on our team. I mean, this guy had the second most fights in the league last year. And um, not saying get him to fight. He's a, he's, a, he's a decent player. His numbers aren't terrible. His numbers are actually decent this year. You know, I look at, uh, let me give you one second. This year, okay, in 20 games, you know, it's not bad. Uh, two goals, ten, uh, eight assists for 10 points. And this is bottom six minutes where he's, he's you know, carrying the load as, as the guy, the front guy when it comes to maybe taking some pressure off Feligno over there. Because I think we could get, I think we could pry him out of Mini with an offer like that. I do. I, I you know, I think Mini would trade him for sure for a third rounder right away. All they traded to get him was a seventh. So they would be getting back a third and, and, a, and a, a, a semi-young defenseman that they can figure out what they can do with Bryson maybe over there. Who knows? You know, Bryson's played three games, folks. I don't know what's happening, if he's even going to play again. I just don't know. I don't know what the plans are with Bryson, but we can't have dead cap sitting on the roster either. We have to do something. We have to, you know, get it out of town. And, uh, you know, eat up half of it. That's fine. I got no problem with that. He's got one year left on his contract. We eat it up. Send him out of town. And you take in uh, Maroon, who's making 800K a year. You know, they retain 200K over there. So, you know, we might have to take something off their hands, though, in mini. That might be something they, they want us to do. We might have to take a contract off their hands. But you're not getting a guy that's 25. You're getting a guy 35. So they don't have much leeway either. And the truth is, he could go free agent at the end of the year if he has a decent, decent offer, and that's it. You know, like he, I, I could see him right away coming to a team like Buffalo. I could see him 
liking the idea, actually. He's familiar with the East, especially after playing in Tampa. And um, I think that this guy would definitely fit in our bottom six right away. Oh, guys, just my thoughts on this one, you know. So I guess I'll close it up there, guys. I won't keep it running much longer. Just want to throw that at you tonight, throw a few videos up there as I am going to go have a few Neil Citrons and crash and see how I feel. You know, it's, um, it's going to be uh, exciting to see what happens in these two games. What do you think of the Maroon idea, guys? Honestly, I think that's a possible. I, I think if we made that offer, we're a little overpaying. But I, we desperately need something now to wake up this team. And I think this guy could be a spark plug for sure. This guy with his leadership and all of it, all of it, just walking into the dressing room, like this is the guy, you know, that won three cups in a row. You know, like this is, you know, this is just something I think that, uh, uh, and he was a big part of the Tampa Cups. He wasn't just there, you know what I mean? He was like their guy, their mean guy that you got to get through. And he wouldn't go and purposely start trouble either. But if you got in their faces, you had to deal with him. Guys, we could get him for a million bucks a year. We probably, and I'm telling you right now, if we got him and we offered him a two-year deal at one and a half per the next two years, he would jump on it. He would jump on it. And as much as he's maybe not as fast as he would have been 10 years ago, we don't need that right now. Not there. Not in the bottom. The bottom we need to maintain smart defensive play and structure with some mean we don't have enough meat on this team, guys. We just don't. It worries me. You know, I've been, I've been begging for years for something to happen. I'm so happy Clifton's on the team now, you know, and uh, I've seen Sabre fans complain about him. I'm like, my goodness, guys, we have nobody else that hits except Darlene, you know, and Samuelson. I mean, we don't have guys on this team that are tough. We don't, especially our forwards. You know, we need some mean up front, not just on the back end. We need somebody mean up front. This for me fits the bill. This fits the bill. A champion, a guy that can intimidate the other team. You've seen in that the visual area, he's challenging the whole bench. We need somebody like that, guys. We don't need him out there being a goon, but we need him out there intimidating. That's what we're missing. We're missing that kind of sandpaper in our lineup, my opinion. All right, guys, you have a good night. I'm lying down. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm really done. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.